for years, self-employed Maish Azri Pedita loved dressing up as comic characters and was often on the lookout for events to do so. When Maish heard of the Kretapi Sarong event last week, he knew he had to go, but not in the usual way. Uh, I told my mom, oh, I'm going, I'm going to this Kretapi Sarong event where I have to wear the kain plekat or kain bate. And then she was suddenly texted me, hey, I have an idea. Why don't you wear the costume of, of your Spider-Man costume and then just wear the kain bate outside? I was like, what, mom? Seriously? <laughs> And then it was like, oh, cool, let's go. It was like, something like that. Maej and his friend, bank officer Abdul Muhaymin Abdul Fattah, ended up turning many heads as they donned their sarongs over Spider-Man costumes. Yeah, mine is about when I first went to boarding school. So my parents gave me this sarong. The two joined many participants who ditched the usual jeans and skirts to wear the versatile clothes over various types of clothing and boarded the LRT on Saturday evening. Kreta Pisarong, now in its second year, was modelled after the No Pants subway movement in New York, which mobilised 1,200 New Yorkers to wear anything but pants in a train in 2009. Maej and Abdul Mohamin were not the only ones garnering attention, as a number of people also stopped to take photographs with project coordinator Hazri Zainuddin. Participants were led from the Pudu and Titiwangsa stations to various stations along the line before finally arriving at the KLCC Park. For waiter Roland Joshua, he joined the event as he felt the sarong is an integral part of his family life. Uh, my costume, technically my sarong, was the one that my mom wore when she was carrying me and all my other three siblings. Other than that, the tongkat is the one that she had on her wedding day. And besides that, it's all me.